Hi, I'm Matt Shade Tech. I'm a producer and DJ based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm also the senior logic instructor for DubSpot and for DubSpot Online. Today, I'm working on a remix project, which is part of a project that my label, Duddy Arts, is doing in collaboration with Palenque Records, where we're remixing some material from their catalog. This is a song called Ataole by the legendary Colombian percussionist, Batata. And so in my last video, I talked about how I created some of the groove elements, including the conga patterns and the accordion patterns. In this one, I'm gonna show you how I created some of the little ad-lib sounds that I have in here. And so I'll just play you a little piece of the intro where some of these sounds are happening. So we've got those, and then we've got some stuff like this. And that's just the accordion again, some stuff like this. So what's cool about this is that all of these sounds, the little, his little yells, and then these like single little accordion hits, and this little sort of track ID thing in the beginning, are all actually coming from the same EXS24 sampler, right? I just kind of wanted some little sound effects to sprinkle throughout the track to keep it lively, you know, at certain moments. That's just an organ, that's just a uh, accordion hit. Oh, I did some stuff over here. This is like the outro. So I've got all of these coming out of a single sampler, but you may notice they all have different effect treatment on them. So what we've got here is I started out, I just combed through the stems for this project and found some little stuff that I thought would be cool for, for sound effects. I'm calling them my ad libs. And I'll just play them for you. Opa! Opa! Ataole. So just a couple of little sounds to kind of sprinkle throughout the track and just keep things lively. And so what I did was take these, get in a little closer here, right click on them, convert to new sampler track, right? Just like we did in the last video. And then instead of doing it by transient markers, I'm gonna do it by regions and we'll call these ad libs vid. Hit okay. And so because I did it by regions, it's gonna use each one of these and place them on a different key in the sampler. So now we've got them all, right? Laid out on the keyboard. And so the next step is to route them out to multiple outputs. So with the EXS24, that's actually a little bit tricky. You have to do it in the instrument editor. So let's open up the EXS24 and then we're gonna to go to the edit page for the sample instrument editor. Hit edit. And now here, this is where we can edit the layout of our Like for example, if I wanted to make this pitchable, if I drag the corner here, you just drag it way out. Make like some rave stabs, that might be fun. And then what we're trying to do here is to send each one of these to a different output in the mixer. And so the output is here in the output column and they default to group, which is gonna send it to the main output. So what I'm gonna do is select each of these and route them to their own output. So we'll send the, this uh, first one to three and four, five and six, seven, eight, nine and 10. And these are just stereo pairs, right? Channel five and channel six. And then by the time we get to 11, 
we get a couple of mono ones. Um, and that's fine for this. Now, important, we're going to save this, right? And I'll save it as, this will be ad libs vid multi. And this is why this can be a little bit tricky. If you have instruments that you use in a lot of different tracks, you probably don't want to do this. You probably want to save a version of the instrument for the track that you're working on. In this case, I'm probably not going to use these samples for any other tracks, so that's totally cool. But if I wasn't, I would just do a save as and make a copy of the instrument just the way that, that you saw me do it. Um, okay, now we can close this up and we want to go to the EXS24 now, click on it, go down here. Now you see it's currently in stereo, but what we want is multi output mode. So choose that and now we can close this. Let's go over to the mixer and in the mixer, here's our channel and you can see it says EXS24 MO. It's got ad libs vid. And what I'm going to do is you see the little plus button when we're in stereo mode. If I just switch back real quick, you'll see that that's not there, right? So we want to make sure that we're in multi output mode and that's how we get our little plus button to appear. And then I'm just going to click that. And each time I click that, it's going to add a new output. So the first one it's going to add is three and four, then five and six, then seven and eight, then nine and 10, and then 11. And so that is going to give me now a separate output for each one of my samples. I'm just going to select them all and turn them all down quite a lot because they're pretty loud. And then we'll just jump over cooking show style to the one that I already have. So here they all are. And what I've done is I've placed a different effect on each one. The first one has a tape delay. The second one has a ring shifter. The third one has a delay designer. The fourth one has a flanger. And the fifth one, which is the organ stab, has a big reverb. So if we just listen to, let's see if I just take, let's move this out of the way for a second. If I just take this and throw it up here, it should play it. So this is a way that you can make a bunch of different little sounds and you could play these in live from your MIDI keyboard, you know, or if you wanted to put in like a bunch of dance hall sound effects like, you know, air horns and sirens and stuff, you could do that or, or whatever kind of samples that you want to sprinkle throughout the track and treat with different effects. And of course you could do this with a drum kit or whatever, but I thought this would be a little fun way to show you guys in progress in this remix. So if you want to uh, get a copy of this remix, it should be out on iTunes by the time this video is out. And if you would like to learn more about Dubspot, you can check us out at dubspot.com. And if you'd like to learn more about me, you can check me out at mattshadetech.com. I uh, hope this has been helpful for you and thanks for watching. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.